So Aiden's problem then, well, and we never even got to the point where I said, I'm not going to work with you. We didn't even get to that point. He just assumed that, so he's going to try and beat me another way, and that is discredit me. That Drury worked with Fiona Patton. Yeah, I did. To stop you, you little mm. Drury worked with Rod Barton. I did. Animal Justice. Yes. I had to elect Andy Medic. That was part of the deal. The CFMEU came to me, who at the time, this time four years ago, was the biggest financial contributor to the ALP. And I know them. I know the executives there. We had lunch, some nice wine, and he said, you know, you're wondering why we're having a chat? And I said, I think I know why we're having the chat. I said, uh, Andy Manick, uh wears steel cap boots and high beers clothing and you want him in Parliament? And they said, we do. And I said, and you're going to tell me that you'll go to the ALP and make sure I get ALP preferences before the Greens everywhere. We are. Job done. Wow. <laughs> When was this? Last election. Four years ago. Yeah, wow. So why did I put Andy Medic in Parliament? Because the shooters were preferenced before the Greens everywhere. So was the LDP. So was everyone else. So was Hinch. First time that's ever happened. Everything has a cost. I had to put Andy there to get what I needed. Nine people were elected. Wow. That's how it's done. And yep, yeah, right. I put Andy there. I put Rod there. So put the shooters and Hinch, all of them. That's what Aiden doesn't understand. I won't deal with them. They're not pure. Then, okay, then you're going to die. Yeah. You what, what's going on down there? I saw this thing about like unions kicking up a stink against Dan and all this stuff. And last time we spoke, you said now with the new head of the unions, you pretty much didn't have their support anymore. It feels like it's a... This, no, no, I don't talk to Setka. The guy's a thug. Okay. Uh, I've still got an in with the CFMEU. They're giving me polling and things. So let me tell you about Sackdown Andrews. And I'm bringing you into confidence here. It's one of mine. And it was a, it was conceived when Aiden. I, I, I predicted what would happen with Aiden months ago. So you've got to put something in place, you know, to defend yourself and then attack. And that's what I did. I looked all over their social media. I could have called it the Pro Jet Trails Party. I could have called it the Port Arthur Conspiracy. I could have called it the Wacko Crazy Lunatics Party, but I didn't. Every other post was Sack Dan Andrews, Sack Dan Andrews, Sack Dan Andrews. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. We're going to form the Sack Dan Andrews Party. We did. We, we, me and my allies. That's been formed because if that gets a decent draw, it's going to completely usurp Clive, One Nation, and poor little Aiden. He's a bit Aiden. <laughs> He's not smart. You know what that is? Is this the red shirt saga, isn't it? That's a red shirt that, that I got. From... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Go swimming in that one. So and I'm going to wear that when I'm, doing the, when I'm doing the GVTs. I'll be wearing that. And another shirt that the Greens produced last time as a fundraiser to stop me. It says, don't blame me. I voted below the line. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Sack Dan is in my crew. Oh. Um, and again, that was initially conceived to counteract the problem of Aiden. Aiden thinks it's it's you know, another cooker party, which is great. Information warfare, mate. <laughs> yeah, wow. Interesting. So... Are they running lower uh, house seats or just upper house? At this stage, they, they, they'll be trying to win an upper house seat. Okay. Um, uh, whether I run them in the lower house is still to be determined. Um Okay. Yeah, we're st still discussing that. Prior to the discipline that I brought to minor parties, which was in 99, very, very few minor parties got elected. Uh, 99, was that your first one? Yeah, 99 was my first election. Uh, and I put three people in. You did? 
<laughs> street people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the quota at the time, or there still is, in New South Wales is about 4.5%. I put three people in on just over 2%. Yeah, right. And that f***ed them off. That really f***ed them off, and they changed the rules within six months. That was that was one guy who at the time was elected on the smallest primary vote in history, Australian history, was 0.2%. I've since smashed that record. So that was 99, and, and you know, there's just been countless, countless elections since then. I've forgotten how many people have been elected. Yeah. Back in 99, when I was up to, the, I think, the last party I formed, uh, the way I formed parties back then, you only needed 200 names. I had volunteers with me, and we would go out in the streets in Sydney. And I put up a sign that said, stop Pauline Hanson sign here, stop Fred Nile sign here. And I'd go to lefty areas, and I couldn't beat people off with a stick. <laughs> so I was forming one party every weekend toward the end. Um, they were the house in days. But we got to, speaking of names, this is a funny story, we got to weeks out from the writ. And this was going to be our last party. We were exhausted. We'd all wasted our bloody Saturdays and Sundays doing this for months. Well, it wasn't wasted. It was just, you know, it was busy time. And I got my three or four volunteers there. We got the signs up and people start coming in. Oh, shit. We'd formed Save the Forest, the Women's Party, the Four Drive Party, the Gun Owners Party, the Marijuana, the Gay and Lesbian save the forest and so on and so on what are we forming today oh shit i don't know and i said oh the three-day weekend party what yeah let's do it it went really well <laughs> it was just a joke norms open i think on thursday from mm -hmm. memory so get your norms in for those lower house seats. That's really important. That gives you a negotiating tool. Yeah. It gives you some insurance, right? Um, and that's why you do it. You shouldn't. What I say to minor parties is, is, and here's another mistake Aiden's making. We're going to run in at least 35 seats, hopefully every seat. Why? <laughs> We're guerrilla fighters. We fight on our terms, not the enemies. If we go out there and try and fight an imperial power, on the field, we're going to lose. We've got to chip, chip and retreat and attack and attack and off. We've got to fight like the Viet Cong against the Yanks, right? Not on their terms, because yeah. they will beat us every time. They've got resources and paid consultants and all this shit, which you, we, minor parties don't have. So my advice to you guys and to minor parties, the lower house is only there as a negotiating tool to get you what you want in the upper house. Yeah. You've got to be really smart about this. Focus this rifled approach. And and if we run in these these hot seats, the ones that I told you, they're the hot seats of the ALP. Um, don't run in safe seats. Just because you've got a member who lives in Dandenong, oh, I want to run here to help you. It's not helping you. Yeah, It's creating a little administrative problem for you. Someone's got to deal with it. It's energy expended that you don't need to expend. Stay focused on the mission. The mission is get preferences in the upper house. How do we do that? We leverage. Yeah. So those seats are where you can leverage. Focus on those seats. Run there. Uh, uh, if we need to negotiate with the ALP, I can either you can do it yourself. I can do it on your behalf. Um, but you've got something to deal with. Mm -hmm. So it's really really important that you get candidates in those regions, those seats. Yeah. And don't worry, unless you want to create work for yourself. That party member who lives up in the Mallee and wants to run to help you. Why? Yeah. It's not going to help. The only groups you've got to worry about, those freedom, freedom <laughs> um, uh, Craig Ellis, which is which is um, cannabis and reason mm. <clears throat> pets of course got to talk to him um, the rest I control gotcha. everybody I'll be filling in the GBTs Jeez Louise yeah even Louise is she there she's probably a candidate somewhere I don't know <laughs> that's a busy so night, that's mate. what I say to you if there's an opportunity I've got enough resources to throw oxygen at you to keep you alive. 